Okay, the less thans are going to be sandwiched. What that means is when you take an absolute value inequality that involves a less than, okay, you know that the graph of this is going to be sandwiched between. Okay, so automatically you should be able to identify uh, which set or which solution sets could be possible just by what it looks like. Now, why did I use brackets here on the ends? Because as the equal, right? So it's going to be sandwiched with the brackets. If this had been just a less than symbol, then it would be sandwiched with parentheses. Okay? When you solve these sandwich type problems, these less thans, what you're going to do is take the expression that they give you, and you're going to sandwich it between what's given and the opposite of what's given. So you'll just take the opposite of one. <coughs> okay, so in this step one, again, you're going to isolate the inequality expression. What that means is if there had been anything added, subtracted, or multiplied, or divided in front, on the left side, you would move that over before you begin the next step. The next step is to sandwich. the expression and you're going to sandwich that expression by putting what's given and the opposite of what's given. Okay, and then you're just going to solve it as this compound inequality. Okay, what kind of compound inequality is this? It's an and inequality, right? So we're going to subtract 5 from all parts and simplify what we have. In this case, we have our simplified solution. <clears throat> so if we were looking at the uh, interval notation for this, what you're going to do is take your lower limit followed by your upper limit and then use the correct grouping symbols. It's equal to, it has the equal to, it's included, so you're going to group it with brackets. And now, do you think your calculators will give you this answer? <coughs> if we took the absolute value expression, so ABS, parentheses, uh, X plus 5 is less than or equal to, remember, you can get that equal to by using the green diamond and then the inequality symbol in blue. And that's less than or equal to 1. We want to solve for X. Down here, the, it's second function and then either zero or the decimal point. But if you want the equal to, you can use the green diamond and those, and it puts the equal to symbol in it as well. Okay, and so here's the, the calculator will give us this inequality form. Once again, you'll need to uh, be able to translate that into the interval notation, which is the notation I'll be using uh, both on your homework and in uh, collecting correct answers on your quizzes. <coughs> okay. All right, what happens if you're dealing with the uh, greater than inequality or the ors of a boat? So the graph of a greater than is going to look like, or actually let's take an example. If I had 2x minus 1, is greater than 5. Here we know that it's going to open out, split out, look like the ores on a boat. And, and again I use parentheses here because this time th did the inequality have an equal to attached to it? No, it's not included, ex excluded from the solution set so you'll use parentheses. Right. If you're solving the greater thans, you are going to once again, oops, up here, after you sandwich it, you'll solve the inequality. And the inequality symbol is just equals with a slash through it. Okay. When you're dealing with a greater than inequality, you're still going to isolate the absolute value. And then you're going to split, just like you did with the equation both cases when you split you're going to start with the expression that's inside the absolute values 
On the right side, you're going to copy exactly what was provided. On the left side, you're going to copy the opposite of that. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. And how did we get the opposite? What do you have to multiply or divide by to get an opposite? Negative 1. And so w dealing with inequalities, when you multiply or divide by negative, what do you have to do to the inequality symbol? Flip it. Okay, so you're going to flip the inequality symbol. And then once again, you'll solve. And now you can solve each one individually. So if we add 1 to both sides, we get 2x is less than negative 4. Divide by 2, we get x is less than negative 2 as one interval. The other interval, again, we're solving add 1 to both sides. Divide by 2, we get x is greater than 3. So here's your two solution sets. Again, when we look at this answer, we have a negative 2 here and a 3 here. It fits the form that we were looking at. And so if we were writing our answer in interval notation for this far left interval, we have a lower limit of negative infinity and upper limit of 2, parentheses around both. In the second interval, we have 3 to infinity parentheses always at the infinities. The 3 is excluded, so a parentheses joined with a union of sets, symbol, capital U. Okay, once again, if we were using our calculators for this, if we tested the absolute value of 2x minus 1, and this time is greater than Uh, 5, solve for x. Your calculator should uh, verify what we got by hand. x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 3. It still works on that. And then it's just a matter of uh, translating it into the interval notation.